In this video, we are targeting feral koi diamonds. If this video helps you catch your diamond, please remember to give it a like, come back and leave a comment. Let me know you are successful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here is my latest catch screen. As you can see, first fish at 2318, obviously using a gold hook strategy. First diamond at 039. Second one at 114. Kept on going. 140. That's two hours, 22 minutes, 18 golds, two diamonds. Here is my second session. I left off at 239 last night. This is the last one on the last catch screen. Started at 937. Second fish was a diamond. Last fish was a diamond at 1021. Less than an hour. Seven golds. Two more diamonds. Let's take a quick look at the feral koi. For the traits, it is a bottom lurker, so we are probably going to use a bottom rig. However, there are places where you can fish with a float. For the bait and lure preferences, what jumps out at the end of the first line is advantage bait balls. And towards the bottom, wafters white will exclude McGoy as they can be a nuisance. The largest koi caught to date is 9 kilograms or just a little under 20 pounds. For the video, I am using the Blinder Feeder Ride 22 pound max strength with 15 pound reel max drag. 15 pound fluorocarbon, any sinker will do, size 4 hook, and wafters white. For bait feeding, just equip your hand with advantage. The location I recommend is far top left on the map. Here is my boat. As you can see, and my diamond marker. Here is the trailhead. Take your boat out from here and drive over. A second location you can consider, it's a pain to get to, is over here. At this location, you can fish for them on float. I'll show one or two in the large catch montage. I would use size four with red worm. To target the feral koi diamonds, I suggest starting in a morning server. You can keep fishing as long as you like. However, I tend to jump back at noon and restock my bait and chum. Use a feeder bottom rig with size four gold hook with wafters white to exclude other fish and use advantage bait balls for chum. I recommend starting in a morning server. However, the time didn't seem to be too specific. I was able to catch diamonds at different times. So if you slide with the server sinking, that is okay. Technique is very simple. I'm just going to toss out a couple of advantage bait balls. And drop the bottom rig with four wafters white in between. That gives you 50 throws before you have to go back. I usually fish until roughly around noon and go back and restock and start over. This is a gold hook strategy, so we may not get a bite. We'll see. Let's see how we're doing on our time. Looks like we're going backwards. Shouldn't be a big deal. But you can certainly go offline if you want to stick to the sweet spot. Hey, look at that. That's going to be a decent sized gold. You can certainly go lighter online, as you can see here. I don't have to put any effort into it, but for the video, I don't like to make for long fights. 
with the montage the video will be pl plenty long enough as it is but if you're going for score perhaps drop down to around 11 pound I'll give it a tug see if I can get it up any faster You can, of course, use other baits, but I like the wafters white to exclude the Magoy, who tend to run in the same area as the feral koi. Nothing against them, but if I'm targeting koi, I want to get koi. A little gold there, 13.9 pounds. Cool looking fish. Got an interesting variation on the fins. We'll let it go back. And the only thing I do now is just check another side of the boat. Rotate around the boat. Couple of bait balls. That's all there is to it. Plenty to show in the montage. So I will cut the technique short quick. Stay with the video to watch the diamonds. Happy fishing. Have a good one.
please click on the logo bottom left to subscribe to my channel check out my other content and don't forget to hit the like button on the video